Hey, welcome back everybody. It's me, KB. So, in this video, I'm gonna give you guys the reason why I switched from Adobe Premiere Pro to DaVinci Resolve. Almost for five years, I have used Premiere Pro. Now, I'm switching to DaVinci Resolve. So, I'm just gonna give you the reasons, okay, why. And it's not like I just found the DaVinci Resolve and I was like, oh my God, it is the best. No, it's not, it's not like that. About a month ago, I made a video on best free video editor, which was the DaVinci Resolve. And it was great. For sake of that video, I had to edit that video, that video tutorial on the DaVinci Resolve because I was making the video about that. And I was talking good things about that because it was free and it is good, something like that. So for that video, I edited that video in the DaVinci Resolve. And, uh, you know, after editing that video, I was like really amazed with the results, what I got from the DaVinci Resolve. So I thought, now let's do one thing, just do the test. I'm going to edit more videos in DaVinci Resolve free version and uh, let's see how it turns out because you know DaVinci Resolve is a professional video editing software I have to learn so maybe in the beginning I had made some mistakes but as I you know started to learn and use the DaVinci Resolve more and more like I'm stuck to it like <laughs> I have already forgotten about the Adobe Premiere Pro because there are a few things that DaVinci Resolve does better than Premiere Pro, at least for me. Okay, I'm not gonna say Premiere Pro is a bad program. It is a great, that's why I have used it for five years, okay? But now I have found something better, that is the DaVinci Resolve. And this is not a battle between Premiere Pro and the DaVinci Resolve. This is just user preference okay i now prefer davinci resolve over premiere pro i'm not saying you guys that you know you should also use this you can try at least try you know if you find some features that works better for you in davinci resolve then yeah you can do the same thing like me okay and one more thing this video is not sponsored by anyone not davinci not nobody okay this is me just telling you guys that you know I have done some changes in the channel that I'm using the different software for editing and all that kind of stuff okay so I will try not to make this video long so let's just dig into it like let me just give you the reason why I switched from Premiere Pro to DaVinci Resolve all right first reason import okay import it is really important if you edit like large gameplay or anything large files then you know the pain in premiere pro it takes forever to import but in davinci resolve blip blap boom and now your clip is ready to use in timeline just like that bang okay you don't have to wait but in premiere pro you know if you have used it you know you have to like do like this for if the clip is small for 10 seconds if the clip is really big then maybe you have to wait one or two minutes it also depends on the you know hardware pc hardware but uh, in davinci resolve it just works straight no caching no nothing import your clip start using start editing voila just just like that okay so that is the first thing i like about the davinci resolve which is not like actually the reason why i switched there is actually only one reason why i switched from premiere to davinci that is the color grading and doing a color uh, chroma key effect aka green screen effect okay so as you can see in the uh, my workspace you can see i have only added color and deliver tab and if you have used davinci resolve or i have seen there they were cut section to fair light and uh, fusion tab which i have turned off because i don't use them and same thing goes for the premiere pro i never used after effects 
with Premiere Pro. But in DaVinci Resolve, you can use the Fusion, which is like alternative to After, After Effects, but I don't use that, use that. So some people might say that you can achieve, because I'm gonna show you something that it's that is really great. Like doing a green screen in DaVinci Resolve is better. So some people might say that you could use the After Effects to achieve the same green screen effect in your videos, but I don't use After Effects. Neither I use Fusion in DaVinci Resolve. So I'm just gonna use the pure DaVinci Resolve to achieve the green screen. So this is the main reason why I switched, okay? In After Effects, you can see, I look really sad, sorry about that, but so in Premiere Pro, you know, you can see my green screen is not perfect. Somewhere the light is bright, somewhere it's really dark. In Premiere Pro, <laughs> it was really difficult to do the green screen and man, that was headache. Like, it's really bad in Premiere Pro. But in DaVinci Resolve, doing a green screen is just piece of cake. And it works so well. You can just refine your green screen. Doesn't matter how bad your green screen is. It does it better. Let me do it in fast motion, okay? All right, no more fast motion. And within one minute, you can see I have achieved a perfect green screen, AKA chroma key. And, you know, I can't tell you the pain what I got from Premiere Pro when I was trying to use the green screen effect. It was so hard because my it wasn't the um, fault of Premiere Pro actually, it was the fault of my green screen that it wasn't perfect. But I needed something, some great program which can like clean up my mess, okay? Which can clean up my non-perfect green screen and that is the DaVinci Resolve. It's great for me, okay? It's just absolutely amazing, uh, you know, video editing software if I want to use the green screen because it's perfect. You can see in the mask too, at the below the white part, which is me and all the black parts is green screen, gone green screen. And I achieved this in 30 seconds. Okay, just one minute maybe, okay? In Adobe Premiere Pro, I bet you, if you need a clip of me, this same clip, uh, do a comment and uh, I will, upload it somewhere and I will give it give you the link okay and try to achieve the same green screen effect in Adobe Premiere Pro within 30 seconds okay one minute okay take how, how much your time you want just take it and achieve this green screen effect this is a challenge from me okay this is the main reason why I switched from Premiere to DaVinci Resolve because Effects are way better. And one more thing, I'm not a huge color grady, uh, color grading artist, but color grading is also really easy, plus really powerful than the Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, <laughs> so I, this is not a tutorial, guys. Okay, oh, wait. No, I didn't want that. Okay, there are a few things I still need to learn. Uh, because this is a whole new program and uh, yeah <laughs> I need to learn so this is not a tutorial guys but uh, you know this thing is so great it's easy peasy to use and the features it offers are so powerful even though it is easy to use some of the things might be difficult it's not like everything is easy peasy okay um yeah okay same thing goes for the premiere pro some things are they are difficult and you know it's all about learning okay if you learn something and you perfect it everything will be easy so yeah this is the only one main reason the coloring and green screen and all that kind of stuff is so great in davinci resolve that i couldn't resist myself to start using the DaVinci Resolve and ditch the Premiere Pro. It's really great, at least for me. 
<laughs> okay. So, yeah, I think that's it. This is the main reason. And there's only one thing I miss from Premiere Pro is that the effects that can be saved, like right click and save effect. You know, I know there are still something, you know, you can still do in the DaVinci Resolve. Like, I don't know how to do that. I still need to learn. But, uh, you know, in Premiere Pro, you can just right click and save the custom effect and you can apply them at any time to any clip and which was great for doing a same thing over and over again. It was great, really. You can do, do the same thing in here mm -hmm. too, but I find it really complex. Maybe I haven't learned about this. Maybe that's why. But that is the only one reason. And another few more reasons about why I switched from Premiere to DaVinci Resolve is that, first of all, I find DaVinci Resolve runs better. Okay, it is way much smoother than the Premiere Pro, at least for me. And uh, it never crashed. Premiere have crashed many times okay so i don't know if you're interested or not but uh, i'm just gonna tell you my story of video editing software first of all i used my first video editing software was windows movie maker and then i discovered about uh, camtasia i used it for one year almost and after that uh, i discovered about coral video editor or something I used it for one another year and after that I needed something professional so I discovered the Premiere Pro but Premiere Pro was like crashing constantly so I had to find another one so that at that time the Sony Vegas was really popular and I started to use the Sony Vegas for two to three years uh, at that time I didn't made any videos like I wasn't a YouTuber or something like that I used to upload some videos uh, gaming videos where I didn't do any commentary or anything like that uh, I think that channel is still there but so <clears throat> I don't know for some reason Sony Vegas started to act weird like crashing and uh, exported files were like really poor quality even though I did all the settings good but then again I had downloaded the downloaded the Premiere Pro which was my go-to video editing software for a, almost five years now, as I said. Now I'm here with DaVinci Resolve. And uh, I think unless something greater than this comes out, I have to try that. But uh, for now, this is my video editing software. So this is my journey of video editing or something like that, whatever you want to call it. Okay. So yeah that's it guys as i said i gave you the challenge i think already <laughs> if you can achieve the green screen take my footage the same clip i'm using right now and do the green screen in adobe premiere pro and post a video and you can send me the link i bet you you cannot achieve this green screen in adobe premiere pro no third party plugins please and plus no after effects so yeah i'm also gonna make a tutorial on uh, how to do the perfect green screen in uh davinci resolve because <clears throat> there are not that many tutorials on the internet for the davinci resolve because it's new and for adobe premiere pro there are many tutorials you'll find all kind of tutorials for premiere pro because it's old program and everybody uses that which is a good thing. So this is also a downside of DaVinci Resolve that there are less tutorials. Even if there, if you find any tutorial, those tutorials will be incomplete or some noob is talking about trash about the program or something like that. I don't know. Maybe just like me, I'm talking trash about the programs. So that's it. Yeah, I don't want to talk too much, but... You got the idea. I love this. Everything is simple but really powerful too. This is the main reason why I switched. 
yeah this is the main reason the color grading system is just amazing because i can also do the green screen just using the color grading no effects applied actually <laughs> i haven't tried any effects anyway you know I never i don't know when i'm gonna use them but uh, yeah there are effects and i'm sure these effects are better than the premiere pro because if there is a, such a thing like color grading thing is so much better i bet they, these things will be also really better like really good i haven't tried and i don't even know how to use them because i'm still learning but all of the videos you see from now on actually you have been watching if you are a subscriber you have been watching all of these videos from a month now all of these videos are edited in davinci resolve yes no premiere pro <laughs> yeah that's it hope you enjoyed it and as i mentioned this was not a sponsored video by any booty okay no adobe no black magic just me telling you guys that i have done some changes in my channel that i use different software this is just an informational video for you guys and just in case if you want to try the davinci resolve there's a free version too with everything no watermark no nothing you can also try i will put link in the description you can go there and download the davinci resolve in here phone and it is much cheaper than the after effects too ah uh, no not after effects premiere pro it's cheaper you can go there and look at the price by yourself i'm not the only one who have made this kind of video i have seen all other videos too but by watching them like those people who say that i have switched from premiere to davinci resolve i was like eh, who does that man you have been using one like professional program from a long time and after that you switch like it can't be like professional programs are should be equal like you know powerful expensive thing like premiere pro is actually expensive because it's a subscription based program so expensive things is always better than the you know lower priced so i used to think that believe it or not but that is true and uh, yeah i didn't made a switch just by watching somebody else videos um i tried and uh, i got impressed by the program and that's how i switched but uh, yeah there is no point of talking too much about this but you get the idea guys hope you enjoyed it and yeah that's it hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to accept my challenge if you have watched the full video okay and that's it i will see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye, -bye.